Hello and welcome back to our channel. The topic of this video is multimodal analysis. We will look at the meaning of this expression as well as the context in which this can be used. The term multimodal analysis is used to refer to the plurality of modalities that speakers use in their everyday conversations. In particular, it refers to the resources mobilized by participants for organizing their action. This can be, for instance, gestures, gaze, facial expressions, body postures, body movements, and also prosody, lexis, and drama. Why is multimodal analysis important? Well, through this perspective, we are encouraging a new point of view that looks at speakers' resources as interconnected. In this sense, language is only one amongst the many resources that we as speakers are utilizing in order to communicate. In addition, multimodal analysis also allows to avoid creating hierarchies between modes of communication, in particularly giving always a preference to the verbal mode of communication. Why do we talk about multimodal analysis? Isn't conversation analysis enough? Well, the answer is not that easy. In fact, in conversation analysis studies, there's no such a restriction on the analysis of verbal communication. Nevertheless, the majority of conversation analysis studies have been carried out only through audio recordings. For this reason, and in particular the first studies of conversation analysis, think for instance of Goodwin and Jefferson studies, there has been a constant focus on verbal communication, whereas the non-verbal elements of communication were only wrote down as note and in the transcription and considered as secondary elements in the interaction. So you might be wondering when should we use then multimodal analysis? Well, depending on the kind of data that you are collecting, we might have, for example, interaction where nonverbal means of communication are more prominent and are more frequent compared to verbal modes of communication. For example, think of communication happening amongst multilingual speakers. Think of studies on translanguaging or studies on foreign language acquisition. In this context, the speakers have a not so fluent knowledge of the language, so they constantly rely on their non-verbal communication. In such contexts, it is really useful to use multimodal analysis and in these cases utilize a lens of analysis that allows you to understand and focus on all the elements the speakers are using in order to interact, not just their verbal communication elements, but also all the pluralities of modes for instance, their use of space, their use of gestures, their facial expressions. Hope we have given you a broad introduction on multimodal analysis. Here are the references used for this video and thank you very much for having watched this video.